Hello humans, Dave back again. Uh, it's been a while, but here I am, hopping back into Fruit of Grisaia. Um, been doing a lot of talking about this with people, and not a lot of actually playing slash reading it. So, here, we, here I am, middle of the night, I'm just gonna do it. Work's been kinda crazy again, so that's why it's been a little bit rough for me, but I'm gonna try and get back onto something semi-regular here. Anyway, I don't entirely remember where I was, but I'm sure it'll come back to me as I get going, so let's load up. Ah, I'm not getting up anymore. Uh, <laughs> right, there was that story, I remember that. And I guess I'm here. Okay. Here we go. This is, I'm, I'm happy to get back into this. I know I've got a lot to get through for it because there's other VNs I want to check out after I finish one route of this. So, here we go. Uh, during my middle school days in America, I got a number of strange nicknames from my classmates, mainly because none of them could be bothered to remember a Japanese name. Hey, Rua, how you been? Going pretty good. I'm um, just hopping back into this episode. On the predictable side, there was Jap and Shorty. My family from Kazumi, kind of abbreviated to KZ as well. However, among my numerous nicknames, the only one that stuck through basic training was Gar. Okay. Gar? Gar? That weird. Ah, short for garbage eater. Why? It's not that I had a reputation for dumpster diving. It was a reference to my tolerance for shitty food. I feel you. That's, that's finally something that I can relate to you, Shio. As to how I earned it, the story is very simple. So I apologize, my nose is quite runny tonight. It's kind of weather changing and everything. So that's me. The KP made us slop unfit for pigs, and I ate it without grimacing. Freeze-dried scrambled eggs, pork and beans made from scraps of ham, bread with peanut butter, and ridiculously stringy mystery meat were the staples. Ugh, sounds fantastic. Every one of them had a weird chemical aftertaste, and they were all disgusting. Rumor had it that the secret sauce was gasoline. Alright. As for the chocolate cake we got for dessert, it was more commonly and accurately described as a desert. Okay, the cake was legendary for being inedible. No matter how starved you were, it would end up stuck in your throat as a dry lump. But I ate it and all the rest without complaining. Probably because I was living rough from a young age, I've never been what you'd call a picky eater. Same. To put it simply, as long as my belly was full and my body was getting what it needed, the taste wasn't a concern. That's fair. So even those three torturous meals a day didn't inspire any serious complaints from me. But the people around me must have thought I was some sort of freak. And after a while, my nickname became Garbage Eater, then eventually just Gar. Hey Gar, just how shitty a cook was your mom? I had a set response to this one. My mom didn't cook much, she was too busy screwing your dad's brains out. It's not a bad one, that's a pretty good comeback, Yuji, I'll give you that one. You're nothing if not, uh, quick-witted, I suppose. As far as my jokes go, I thought it was kind of witty, but that line didn't get many laughs. So. Yeah, I give him shit but for, for being an asshole, but I, I do enjoy him. I guess my delivery was a bit too stony. Well then, what should I do for dinner? I don't particularly feel a desire to eat, but if you don't take meals at three regular times a day, it throws off your body's clock and leaves you more susceptible to fatigue. To tell the truth, I view meals as nothing more than an element of maintaining my physical condition. As long as I'm getting sufficient nourishment, I'm not that caught up on when I, or when or what I eat. When I spend any effort considering things like that, all I end up thinking about is how much of a pain in the ass it's going to be making something... And eventually, the act of eating itself starts to feel like a nuisance. My normal pattern is just throw something together from a supply of canned or dried food. This, I, I really get this. I work with food all day at work, so when I get home, I'm just like, I just want to heat something up real quick. Like, my, I literally had hot dogs and beefaroni for dinner tonight. What's up? <sighs> yep. What? Not that it matters, you're just gonna walk in my room anyway. 
Well, <laughs> exactly. Well, this is my room. Amani barges in like she owns the place, no longer even bothering to knock. But I'm already getting used to it, I guess. Probably because I've experienced a lot of emergency summons. It didn't get to me that much in the first place. Oh, oh Makina. Okay, okay, yeah, sorry, Makina. As she speaks, I notice that Amani is holding a plate piled with crab legs in her hands. I honestly don't remember. <laughs> it's been so long. It's been a couple months since I touched this thing. I do recall such an event. I also recall responding if I'm in the mood. Not that I'd definitely be there. Yes, but I said that you and Makina should go ahead and eat if I didn't show up one time. Not really. <笑>ま、<笑> Yeah, uh, I looked at it, I think it was three months that I <laughs> touched this game, so... And honestly, my memory is kind of garbage, but th this game's been sticking with me, with me pretty well, so... Honestly, seeing the little uh, subtitles and talking about it has helped jog my memory a bit, so... Uh, of course, after I cracked it all open for her, she started yelling about her new invention, crab croissant, and wrapping it in priest's bread. It's just a... It's not new, Machina. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, Zach. That's why I'm playing this. <laughs> I decided I should probably... I'm, I'm trying to get through this quickly for everybody. Because I know there's a lot of people I want to talk about it with. And, uh... And there's other VNs that people want me to get to. And Shannon, in particular, really wants me to get into... Get through Katawa Sojo. Katawa Shoujo. Sorry. But I want to do this in Doki Doki first. The girl just doesn't understand the value of things. After all that she finishes off after all that she finishes off by telling me the fish pastes yummier. So rude. Probably just means that Makina places more importance on how easy it is to eat. Honestly, I think I'd go for crab paste over crab myself. Blasphemy, Yuji. <laughs> okay. That's certainly true. Wouldn't say no, girl. <laughs> Look, I wasn't really complaining, and I can take care of the shell on my own. <laughs> I can hear the disgust in her voice. It's great. Hey, hands off. Amani has wandered off into my kitchen and is examining things as she pleases. After confirming the contents of my mess kit cooker, she opens the door to my refrigerator and starts taking stock of my supplies. Yeah. <laughs> It's a good question. Also, more things that I actually kind of relate to Yuji on. <laughs> My fridge is full of exactly stuff like that. <laughs> I opened it at lunch. Get off my back. Why is it that this feels strangely embarrassing? It's not like I have anything to troublesome in the fridge. In the first place, where does she get off calling canned radish this thing? It's well known among canned food connoisseurs as almost decent and pretty much edible. <laughs> <laughs> this woman looking down on the brave men and women who have gained courage from canned food. <laughs> what is this writing, dude? Oh, man. <laughs> it's nothing if not entertaining. As I silently burn with righteous indignation, Amani brazenly starts running tap water into my rice cooker. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Huh? <laughs> I don't care if it's hard. Probably because I'm used to eating canned stuff that comes out arid and stiff as wax candle. As a wax candle. 
pretty tolerant of tough food. Okay, that's cute. All right, Amane. I see you being cute. I don't care, but what are you planning? Ooh, crab fried rice sounds delicious. Oh, dude. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me. The whole caretaker thing is. <sighs> All right, I'm on it. All right. All right. You're trying hard. Trying real hard, girl. Well, I suppose pretty much anyone can handle fried rice, especially for a woman. The somewhat prejudiced assumption is that you'll have a basic skill like that. At least he acknowledges. <laughs> God, UG, why? Why? Fact is, out of all the women I've met so far, the only one who couldn't make edible fried rice was my master. Still, I can't quite hide a certain anxiety. Not that Amane is paying any attention, humming to herself as she cracks open the eggs. After shaking salt and pepper onto the egg, she mixes in the lightly rinsed rice. And then adds a bit of crab meat, only about half of what she brought, and finely chopped radish. Look, man, this is making me hungry. <laughs> Alright, story time. I met my wife at culinary school. So cooking for each other is a thing, man. So. <sighs> Damn it. <laughs> I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna have some decisions in this freaking thing. I just don't... Man, it was a hard luck. Yeah, I did just eat. Shut up, Zach. I'm fat. <laughs> she hits a frying pan coated with mayonnaise rather than oil, adds the lettuce and spinach she plundered from my fridge, and throws in the rice mixture according to her own timing. Sticking the back of her ladle into the mix, she vigorously clatters it around the frying pan, messily stir-frying the food. When Mani decides it's done, she uses the bowl as a mold to form the fried rice into a perfect hemisphere, then tosses it onto the plate. This wouldn't look out of place in a Chinese restaurant. This sounds so good. Also, like, fried rice is one of my favorite things to eat ever, so... Dressing the leftover crab meat with the mustard and mayo, she drops it with a thud on top of the heap of fried rice on the plate. Oh. oh, that sounds real good. Hi. Omatase. I already had a tough pick, man. I already... Okay, look. 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 Yeah, exactly. Zach, listen, listen, listen to me. I had... I already had... I already wasn't sure whether I was going to pick Makina or Sachi. And now Amani's in here like, hey, <laughs> let me cook for you. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck this game. Ah, <sighs> oh, God. So she says, but it hasn't even been ten minutes since Amani started to cook. The imposing pile of steaming fried rice on my plate looks pretty damn impressive for something coupled together out of leftovers and in such a short time. Okay, <laughs> Not necessary. I've got what I need. The table is a small coffee table for one that... The table is a small coffee table for one that Sachi dragged out of some storerooms. Ah, she... <laughs> the thing that mention her. All she gotta do is pop up for a second. I'm like, oh yeah, never mind you. <laughs> and the frying pan and what table where... She's not even in the scene. They just put her name in there. And I was like, oh, shit. Anyway, God, I'm fucking, I'm a mess. Then. I'm very, I'm, I'm, I worked all day. Just leave, just. <sighs> Words are hard, okay? Give me a break. In the frying pan and what, in, in the frying pan and what tableware I have are things I picked up carelessly at local 100 yen and hardware stores. But since I'm living alone, it's all perfectly adequate. No point in getting more dishes when I'm only eating off one. Just means more things to watch. It's, I feel you on that, but I actually feel you there. Noticing something as she speaks, Mane returns to the kitchen and starts to rustle through a plastic bag in the corner. Hmm, yeah. I've been throwing my empty oolong tea bottles in that bag. 
And before I knew it, I had something of a pile, but I was uncertain about the timing to throw them out. With well practice movement, she peels off the labels, removes the caps, and skillfully cuts off their plastic rings with the tips of a kitchen knife. Finally, she lightly rinses the bottles themselves with tap water. Judging from the smooth motion of her hand, she's repeated this often enough to gain the mastery of an assembly line worker. Clearly, she's something of an eco friendly woman. That's positive. I plan on doing all the roads eventually, right? She should, anyways. Yeah, yeah. Uh, down the line, I'll definitely come back to this and do get through everything. Uh, I mean, assuming, I mean, I'm already, I'm enjoying it as much as I am so far. I assume I'm going to enjoy it more as I get through the actual meat of the story. Uh, and yeah, I definitely want to experience everyone's route. Because even, like, the ones I don't talk about a lot are intriguing. So. What's her name? I'm not even going to, I'm not going to get the, the one that I'm trying to get the from. But after I, I do want to, after I finish one route, I do want to go and play something else, and something else, and come back into Big VN fan. Um, ah, are you talking to me, Rua, or is that? <laughs> oh, well, that's the thing. Mm, enjoy that for a minute. <laughs> By the way, I need help deciding what my first custom emote's gonna be now that I've got uh, affiliates on here. So, if you guys have any ideas, let me know. I want it to be something my regular friends and stuff can make use of. Okay, I'm going back to my room. When you're done, make sure to soak the plate in the sink. Okay, I'll come wash it later. No, I can take care of that much myself. Sorry for the hassle. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to lie. It was kind of my impression of you. <laughs> but, you know what? You just... You've worked your way back up into consideration. I'm not gonna lie. That was that was sweet. Quick bye, Amani heads out of the room, not waiting for my impressions of the crab fried rice. I had the idea that a busybody woman like her would be more likely to hang over my shoulder, pestering me for compliments, but she just popped in all of a sudden, cut for me in a flash, and then left just as quickly. It might be the influence of dealing with that whimsical machina all the time. Let's eat. Unfortunately, I don't have a Chinese spoon in this room. So I'll have to make do with the standard western variety. I jab my spoon into the mountain of steaming fried rice and quickly throw some into my mouth. Hmm, not bad at all. Yeah, it, didn't, it sounded pretty good. Even someone as disinterested in food as me can tell when something tastes good. The salt seasoning feels a bit thin, but this is probably how it should be if you're thinking about healthy sodium intake. Although it would be insulting to compare this to the crap my master made, it's also different from the stuff you'd get at a high-priced Chinese restaurant. It tastes like your standard fried rice. What's with this flavor? When I was living alone with my mother as a child, I remember eating fried rice that tasted like this. Aw, aw, buddy. You forgot what, like, home cooking is like. What has this world done to you, sir? Alright. That is... Probably enough for... The emote-only shenanigans for now. For more than just the two of you. Yeah, and if you uh, were not talking to Zach, Rua, if you're asking me, uh, I've always had an interest in them. However, I never got around to actually playing them. This one is highly recommended among a group of friends on Discord. Uh... So I started it, and now here I am. And then there's some others that I want to get to. Because I, I like, I've always liked the idea of them. I'm, I'm having a good time with this one so far, so. After finishing her day job, my mother would make me dinner before her night shift started. In the last week of the month before her paychecks came in, it would often be a pretty plain meal of fried rice. 
When all she could put on the table was fried rice with a bit of pink fish paste added, she would apologize as I ate. I'm sorry, this is all we've got. Unlike the fried rice Imani just made, there was never anything extravagant like crab thrown in. And Imani's cooking skills seem to be better as well. So why is it that they taste similar? Dude, it's because... Oh. Man, this thing's even got me feeling things for Yuji right now. A slight melancholy come up. Yeah, dude, I... It's because... Oh. Damn. Just swinging out of nowhere at me on that one. Well, it doesn't matter as long as it's good. Alright. Yeah, you tell yourself that, but you, you enjoy it. When I was a kid, anything I ate tasted good. <laughs> no, it's cool. Uh, I just didn't want the... Yeah, uh, yeah, like I said, I, 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 I've always had a, a, had a interest in checking beans out. So I'm sort of going on a journey now. That part of me hasn't changed too much. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, finish one. My plan is to finish one route on this and then play through Doki Doki Literature Club, which I've done a couple of hours of, but not much. And then, uh, I want to start the Fate series and then loop back around to this. So I've got like a lot lined up. I might end up doing multiples at once, but can't help but get it. Yeah, I know it gets. Yeah, I know. I, I I know one particular very bad thing that happens, and it, it it both makes me terrified and also makes me really 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 want to play it even more. Because as much as I, that stuff makes me feel uncomfortable, and also like the emotional response is big for me, so I just know it's gonna be good content. <laughs> yeah, and it's yeah, that's exactly it, man. I hate to spoil it for you, but the cupcakes all. All out of cupcakes. It's very dangerous to jump to conclusions about someone. When you make a judgment without sufficient information, you're going to be at least slightly off. Whether that's an over or underestimation, it clouds your perception and often comes back to bite you in the end. My employer is exactly the sort of organization that lives and dies by gathering accurate intelligence, and I heard a lot about its importance from my acid tongue master as well. Therefore, I make a conscious effort not to label others prematurely. Well, that's good. Hey, Meech, what's up? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing, girl? <laughs> Them some sounds. Oh god, I, I get it. Look, I really, I understand the obsession that Shannon and the others have with me, True, I get it, dude. That said, every time this monster's stream of Michiru girl enters my field of vision, I find myself dying to stick exactly such a mental label on her. Yo, Michiru. God damn. I've been standing in front of you for a while now. Why are you acting like you just noticed? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> I see, I understood. But what utter lack of a word. But that other wild words. Help. But that utter lack of awareness might cost you your life someday. Please make sure to look both ways for cars before you cross the road. Yes, please do. <laughs> ah, she said the thing, guys. I offered an appropriate warning given your actions. Why the verbal abuse? Because she has... Remember, Yuji? The first conversation you had with her whole thing? All right. <laughs> Mitsuru vigorously throws the empty paper carton she was holding at me. Flying into a fit of rage just because someone tells you something you don't want to hear isn't a good habit. <laughs> Man, 
judging that I don't have a foothold in this conversation, I pick up the garbage Michiru hurled at me and I temporarily withdraw from the sea. Yeah, all right. What, what are you going to... 100% vitamin C drink. Reading out the description printed on the carton, I tilt my head in amusement. I've seen plenty of 100% fruit juice drinks, but this is a new one. The parent company of this manufacturer is a pharmaceutical corporation. Maybe it's some sort of undiluted vitamin solution used in beauty pro... Man. Man. I swear to God. <laughs> All right. Look. There have been... Some concerning... Bits and pieces here and there. About some implications about what could be going on with all these people. <laughs> and why everyone is here. I just, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I don't want to think about it too much, but, uh, I don't have the best feeling. <sighs> or maybe it's not meant literally and they're just exaggerating to play up the fact that it's packed full of stuff. Yeah, let's go with that one. Let's go with the happy option. <sighs> it's something that emphasizes its vitamin C content above all else. Which means that it's probably incredibly sour and acidic. I used to eat these vitamin C tablets. They, they, they were pretty sour. I liked them, though. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I... I just... I don't... I want to not... I know. I have a distinct feeling. I don't even want to say it, so I'm not. I'm just going to let it... Let it let it happen. We're just going to let it ride, and I'm going to find out... Naturally. Which means that it's probably incredibly sour and acidic. It must be torture to drink unless you've got a pretty strong tolerance for that sort of thing. So why was she drinking this? Yeah, why? I wonder. <laughs> God, if... Uh, hmm, I can't, I'm not saying it. From looking at her face, I don't think it was out of fondness for the... Yeah, dude, I... <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> What's up, Yumiko? That's your name, Stabby. What's up, girl? You, you gonna you, you, you gonna slice my shins with the box cutter? Please don't. In front of my thoughts, Akaki stares at me suspiciously. Yo, if it isn't you, mean. There it is. Calm down. If, I, if you lose your sense of humor, you won't be able to live a fun life. <sighs> I see. In that case, it wasn't a nickname. Slip of the tongue. Happy now? <laughs> Aggravating as I may be, Sakaki nonetheless approached me. She's probably my least favorite, but I do like her. This is an empty soft drink carton. That blonde girl was drinking it earlier. No. Is collecting this sort of thing and as evil a hobby as that scowl implies? I'm interested. Please explain in detail. For some reason, Sakaki is trembling with anger. It seems I still can't anticipate what will trigger this woman's wrath. Yep. <sighs> Indeed. Right, I wanted to ask about that. Why is she drinking something she so plainly hates? Did she lose a bet? Is she being bullied? Was she placed under a malevolent spell? No, nah, dude, it's none of those things. But I also am not looking forward to the answer. <laughs> There's really no middle ground you're thinking, is there? Yeah, no. Alright, so correct me. So... And yet, I'm pretty sure you knew this was Michiru's carton before you asked. It, it does. It uh, probably a bit of both. I'm just trying to explore an apparent logical inconsistency. Yeah, Katawa Shoujo is on my shortlist to get to. People have been suggesting it. Daganropa, I do want to play too, yeah. Oh, 
Oh man, Phoenix Wright. I, I, you know, I've never counted Phoenix Wright as a visual novel, but I guess it is, isn't it? I need to catch up on the Phoenix Wright games. I've played the like the trilogy on the DS. Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Trials and Tribulations, and three. There, there were three on the DS that I played the Phoenix Wright games. Now I can't remember. There was Ace Attorney, Trials and Tribulations. That might have been the third one. Anyway, I need to catch up on that game. I know there's one where you play as Miles, and that's exciting. Also, is the do you guys know? I don't know if, if you would have. Is the anime any good for Phoenix Wright? I know that there is one. Anyway. The wrinkles in Sakaki's forehead grow deeper and her glare sharper. Apparently, there are some logical inconsistencies best left unexplored when she's around, specifically those concerning her contrary personality. Yeah, I played three of them, Ruin. They were all on the like original DS, I think. I really like those games. Yeah, that seems to the 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 anime adaptations don't seem to be too great on most VNs. It seems, although I think Fate might be an exception, because I know the it's at least successful in the anime. I don't know if it's like good relative to the series. Apparently, there's some.あの子はお菓子とかもよく食べてるみたいだし、いろいろな食べ物に興味があるんじゃないの？Surely, that's the case. Now that you mention it, seems like she's always carrying those ramen candies around. Oh, Are you interested in knowing whether I'm interested in Michiru? <laughs> yeah, no, I understand, Ro. Hang around as long as you'd like, but you know, I'll be streaming for a while, then I, I got I'm gonna try to get a few hours of this in, and then uh, I gotta switch over to getting some recordings done for my YouTube channel anyway. I'm starting Steins Gate and Madoka tonight, so hooray. <laughs> it's gonna be a ride. Um, but yeah, if you wanna keep keep up, you can uh, just watch the VODs over on YouTube, bro. Yeah, Steins Gate, it, it's been on my, like, I need to watch. Oh, there's a VN for Steins Gate? <laughs> Do I hate myself? Look, man, con the co think of the content. That's why I was talk. That's why I was talking to. That's why I was. That's why I was talking earlier about idol anime and wanting to start like Love Live or something because I want something to really uh like a breather anime in between what I'm watching. So I was leaning to it. So I think I'll probably. I think I'm gonna do Love Live in between <laughs> all that just as like a time to breathe. I've seen the first, I think it's three episodes of Monica, two or three. Um, I've, I have seen the in, the first chomping, so to speak. I don't know how to say that in a way that, I guess you've both seen it, so. I, I've, I've seen up through the first, like, ah, moment. Let me, I don't know if I've talked too much around you, goodbye. All right, here we go. Probably smart. Later, Shimmy displeased expression. Yumiko leaves the roof. There sure are a lot of troublesome girls in this place. After spending a little time sharing a dorm with them, it's pretty obvious that everyone in this place has a few screws loose. Probably a few skeletons in the closet as well. Amani and Sakake aren't easy to deal with in the first place, and there seems to be more to them than they're letting on. Same is probably true of Makina and Sashi. That said, good night, Rua. I'll see you around. Thanks for stopping by. When it comes to the bottle blonde girl, no matter how many times I try to look below the surface, I keep hitting the rock bottom right away. If she's got any hidden depths, they're very well hidden. 
In other words, I've got a persistent suspicion that she's an idiot. I mean, I feel like that's true regardless of everything else that's going on. Still, it's too early to label her. I should bide my time and get a better idea of her personality before reaching any conclusions. Oh, okay. Alright, uh, it's been about 35 Okay, so I am going to wrap up this episode for YouTube here. So thank you all for watching. Please like the video. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more. Comment below. All the usual engagement stuff, please. It really helps me out. Um, also, if you want to catch me live, you can see me over at twitch.tv slash earthlyt. And I do have a Discord server that you can hop into. Uh, link should be in the description down below. Uh, yeah, not much else to say. This is fun. Getting ready to roll right through into the next part. So thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.